Well, I got back from the tractor show this weekend and turned out pretty good. I only came home with two things. Sold a lot though. So for starters, I traded an old Simplicity Walk Behind cultivator in 20 bucks for this big cast iron Briggs that came from the Win Winchester Fire Department. It ran a water pump at one point, but it's previously been removed. And I had the stand over there, but it's really banged up and stuff. It's going to need a little work. So I'll clean that up at some point. So I completely washed it. I took all the cowlings off, got it cleaned up. A carburetor cleaned up real nice. It was unbelievably clean inside. Either it was obviously hardly ever used or someone took real good care of it. So runs all right, I guess. But being when it's used, running it wide open, pumping water, doesn't do it much good, but it's still a nice engine. It burns clean and stuff. Usually starts right up first pull. So I guess I'll start it for you. table but you can get the idea had one of them little cups over the um, whatever it's called there spark plug but it wasn't on it when I got it that's all right but I'm probably gonna take and change the crankshaft out with another one of these engines I got for parts with a keyed one so I can use it but that'll be probably later on down the road also <clears throat> I bought myself a water pump here it was 40 bucks pretty good it's got an old Briggs and Stratton it's got to be a two or a three horse cast iron so all the numbers are down in there Whoop. yeah 6FB type and serial runs great doesn't smoke or anything pumps water nice too it's got a Homart pump on it, and it was sold by Sears and Roebuck. So it's an oldie, so I guess I'll start this up and get it running. Just find something to put the camera on here. Here we go. So I just gotta prime it up with some water. Now, this should start right up first try. It's kind of big for this, but it's alright.
puts out a lot for just a little pump. I'm guessing it's got to be around maybe 200 gallons per minute or somewhere around there. But sooner or later I'll have to get some hoses for it and then when the river's going in the spring I can really try it out and see how it does. So those are the few things I picked up from the engine show.